Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be solving the minimum distances problem from Hacker Inc. This is rated as an easy problem and I'm going to be solving it in JavaScript. So the problem essentially is asking, uh, when given an array, to find the minimum distance between any two identical values in that array, where distance is just the distance between the indices of those values. So the example they give here is an array with five values and we have a pair of threes the distance between those two is four and then we also have a pair of twos where the distance between those two is two and because two is less than four we say that the minimum distance overall is two so essentially all we have to do is create an algorithm that can do that for any sized array including an array that has no pairs if it doesn't have any pairs we just say that the minimum distance is negative one so the way I approached this was to first create a minimum distance value and we're going to update this if we find smaller distances and initially I just set it to the length of the array as sort of a default value. Then we want to uh, iterate through uh, the array with a nested for loop. So basically we have our first for loop just starts from index 0 and it goes through one by one until it gets to the end and then we also have um, another for loop right and this one we can have j and we're going to set that to i plus one so we have essentially our target index for this example would be three and then we want to have our j that goes two one two three right and we're going to be searching for uh, identical values to our target index which is our i so we have our j and we're going to increment that as well so we can just say keep going until j is less than a dot length and then j plus plus okay so now within this we want to find identical values we want to find pairs so we can just do an if statement that says if the value at i is equal to the value at j which means we have a pair um, then what we want to do is find the distance between those two values, right? So we can just say um, that distance is going to be j minus i. And if it's less than our minimum, then that's going to be the new minimum. So we can just say our minimum now is equal to that distance, j minus i. And that's pretty much it. So now we have only to cover that case where we don't have any pairs and we want to return negative one. So to do that, we can just say if the minimum has not changed, it's still equal to our default value of the length, then we return negative one. And now if we did find a pair, we did update min, then we can just simply return min. And that's pretty much it. So we can copy it over and submit it and it'll pass everything. So that's a pretty straightforward question here and I hope I could help and thanks for watching.